The champion's tunic is the most iconic piece of clothing in Breath of the Wild for Link, as he can be seen wearing in all of the promotional material. So historically, Link has worn green, however, this time around he's wearing blue. Well, today I'm going to run through all the steps required to get the champion's tunic as early as possible in the game, so you can level up and look the part in your adventure throughout Hyrule. Well, if you're new around here or found this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Zelda content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, the champion's tunic is obtained from Impa at Kakariko Village, and once you've relived one of Link's lost memories. There are a few steps to go through though, so let's have a look at those in a little bit more detail now. Well, step one, you want to find Impa in Kakariko Village. So when you finish up the four shrines on the Great Plateau, you're going to get the glider from the old man or the king, and he's going to send you towards Kakariko Village. You're going to make your way through the dueling peaks, then head north where the road forks, and just after Dueling Peaks, you should find some wild horses and your first horse station too. That is going to make travelling in the game much, much faster than if you were to travel on foot. Well, follow the road to Kakariko Village North and have a chat with Impa, and she'll give you some backstory on Calamity Ganon, Princess Zelda, and she'll tell you about the four divine beasts. She'll also tell you about the Sheikah Slate and its ability to help you remember, plus there's someone in the lab in Hateno Village who should be able to help you. Well, step two, it's find Pura at Hateno Village. So after you've spoken to Impa, she'll give you a quest marker that's going to lead you to Hateno Village over in the east of Hyrule. So this is a quest called Locked Mementos, and your first job is to get to Hateno Village. Now, given you have a quest marker on your map, it is fairly straightforward, although opening up the Hateno Tower on the way will allow you to see the whole area of the map, so this isn't a mandatory step though, so you can skip this part if you want to. So you're going to want to go to the lab in Hateno Village, and that is at the back on top of a hill. There you're going to find Pura, and she may look like a tiny little girl, but actually she is the director of the lab. So have a chat with Pura and Simon in Hateno's lab, and they'll explain the Sheikah slate is broken, and they're going to restore some of the features for you. Now, first of all, you have to do them a favour by carrying the blue flame from Hateno Village up the hill and igniting the fires outside the lab. Well, there is a torch inside the lab that you can pick up and use for the blue flame, so follow the quest marker on your map and use the torch to light it with the blue flame, and then run up the hill as fast as you can to get to Hateno Lab as quickly as possible. Ignite the flame outside the lab, and then it's going to become a fast travel point, much like shrines, and that is really, really useful for travelling back and forth to Hateno Village. Well, next up, we want to fix the Sheikah Slate. So once you've restarted the fires, have a chat with Pura inside the lab, and she's going to restore the camera to the Sheikah Slate. Activate the camera room, and then take a photo with the A button, so it's nice and easy. This is really useful for taking photos of items, which various NPCs are going to ask you to do throughout the game. Well, Pura will ask you to take a photo of her as practice, so stand in front of her, take out the camera and take a photo of her and then show it to her. And then you've got an optional side quest after in which Simon will ask you to take a photo of mushrooms and you can use your tracking module to track items that you've photographed. So once you've got the camera restored, this is also going to restore your lost memory photographs and one of these lost memories is key to getting the champion's tunic. Well, next up you want to speak to Impa. So now you've restored the camera rune on the Sheikah Slate, make your way back to Impa in Kakariko Village. She explains the Sheikah Slate once belonged to Princess Zelda, and you were likely with her when she took the photos. And the theory is, if you find the locations, then your memories will return. Impa also says you should return when you visited one of these locations. So to figure out where these locations are, you're going to want to explore Hyrule and refer back to the lost memory photos every now and again. So most of the photos do have some distinguishing features, although some of them are more obscure than others. Well, to get the champion's tunic, we're only going to need to visit one, so I picked the easiest one to go to. Well, next up in the quest, you want to find a lost memory. So the lost memory I went for is the second one on the grid, and that one has the dueling peaks in the background. You've got a lush green environment in the foreground with white trees and a little bit of water. For this step, you can pick any of the photos to visit and pick up the lost memory, but for me, this one was the easiest one. So from Kakariko Village, you can fast travel to the Oman Owl Shrine on the Great Plateau. And from there, you want to directly go north when looking at the map. 
It doesn't really matter if you've unlocked this region of the map yet or not. The Oman Al Shrine makes finding this one nice and easy. You just want to position yourself with dueling peaks in the background and find that little grassy knoll that pokes up in the air, surrounded by the white trees and the water in front of you. When you're close enough, you'll notice something shining on the floor, so recall your memory and you get a nice narrative cutscene with Princess Zelda. Well, next up, you want to speak to Impa, so now you've seen your first lost memory, make your way back to Kakariko Village. You can fast travel there by going quickly to Tallow Nag Shrine, and then find Impa, and she will give you the coveted Champion's Tunic. So as well as looking very, very good, the Champion's Tunic does have some great features. So when you're wearing it, you can see the enemy's life gauge and see their remaining health. Also, the Champion's Tunic has the highest potential defense of any armor in the game, with a max defense of up to 32. However, it cannot be dyed and it cannot be sold. Well, make sure you wear the Champion's Tunic with pride, as by now it really is an iconic piece of clothing for Link in Breath of the Wild. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Champion's Tunic in Breath of the Wild. And for more Breath of the Wild content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. And you can also check me out on Twitter at Triforce Times. Well, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.